Hi everyone, my name is Darren Darling from the DPF Doctor and I'm here today to show you how to use the JLM DPF refill fluid to fill up the additive tank, the Eloy's tank from a Peugeot Citroen. Uh, this also applies to some Mazda and Volvo models. So we're going to show you how to use the kit and how to fill the tank up. But before we start, I would like to make a word of caution about not to confuse the DPF refill fluid with AdBlue. This is a big problem and unfortunately some people have used AdBlue to fill this tank and the damage is catastrophic. So let's put that to one side, it's a completely different fluid that is designed to inject directly into your exhaust system. So whereas the DPF refill fluid goes into the additive tank and this is injected directly into your fuel tank. So it's very important that you use the correct fluid. This fluid is universal and covers all generations of the fluid. So you see the color coding on there with grey, green and blue. They are all compatible, you know, it's compatible with all generations of it. So what we're going to do, we've just unboxed it, comes in a box of four, one litre bottles. And also we have here the JLM DPF refill kit. This is what you need to fill the tank. So let's see what we have in the kit and how we use it. So, we have the attachment to fit onto the top of the bottles. So let's put this to one side. We have the refill hose. And also in the kit, we have the short plastic pipe. So we'll get that in there. And we have three attachments. So we have two male attachments and we have one female attachment. So the first thing we need to do, now you may need to use a lighter for this. It does make the job um, much easier and also it'll get a much uh, nicer fit once it's cooled down. So let's warm up the pipe. Like so. So on the larger pipe, what I recommend doing is warming the pipe up, getting it started, and then let's give it another warm up just to push it home. Like anything, a little bit of better preparation is always best. Because don't forget, once you have this set up, then you can keep the kit for future use. So once you have the kit, um, this pipe on there, you can use it numerous times over and over again. So, there we go. So that's on there nice and tight. Again, let's do this. Go. So now we'll let this cool down and give it a good tug to make sure that it's nice and tight. So now you have short pipe set up, ready to go. And then we need to do the same with the female attachment.
and then finally we are going to attach this to the filler cap okay now we'll have this all set up we'll move the bag out of the way we don't need the lighter anymore so the different attachments are only necessary depending on the type of tank because with different manufacturers they do vary in size so with some tanks you do not need the extra attachments and you can simply plug this straight on a, the, the filler cap but on this one here what we're doing this one is out of a Citroen we'll take the filler attachment off and then we'll click one end into here and the other like so into here again this is a professional only uh, must wear PPE so you know you you should be a garage owner that is doing this procedure it's not a DIY job so we'll now fill this up um, until we get fluid coming from the the fill pipe you know so this is our fill level here so these are coming two sizes they will either take two liters of fluid or some only hold one liter but this one here is a two liter tank so we will be putting two bottles of this into the tank this tank is located in the vehicle beside the fuel tank it does inject this fluid into the fuel tank so the locations vary slightly but you can always locate this by raising the vehicle on a hoist locating the fuel tank and this will usually be underneath a heat shield very close to the fuel tank so once you have it out the vehicle it's very easy to fill the tank so now all we need to do is attach this to our bottle make sure you give it a good tighten up so that you don't get any spillages so we're now going to gravity fill this so it's a case of now just tipping this upside down and give it a squeeze and there we go so what you can do is you can sit this on a raised object you know like a you know a gearbox jack or something like that so it stays there and you can put the tank down to a lower level but that is now gravity filling up the tank and all you need to do now is wait till it empties then switch it over with your next bottle and wait till that is empty and once we're done you know once this is gravity filled we will refit this to the vehicle next to the fuel tank connect it all back up and then we will go in with a scan tool and we'll reset the additive level it's very important after filling the tank that you do go in there with a the diagnostics tool and fill um, and tell the vehicle that you've filled the tank you know so very straightforward procedure and if done correctly there's no mess um, there's no drips all over the floor so connect it up allow it to gravity bleed and that's it job done so we'll move on next to once we've refilled it in the vehicle we will show you how to do the additive tank resets okay now that we've refitted the tank um, that is now full of additive so we now need to reset the adaptations um, in the ECU on this vehicle this is a 2016 model it is controlled by the injection ECU so that's where we're going into on earlier models in the list of ECUs it will list a separate additive control module but on later models we go into injection special function pack repair 
replacement parts, replacement of the additive reservoir or additive pouch. And then follow the on-screen instructions. So it says ignition off. ignition on and then as you can see learning is complete so then we will escape particle filter after sales operation program of content even injected into DPF so in here it's asking for mileage traveled since the vehicle's last additive fill Obviously, we've just filled it, so that mileage will be zero. OK. Programming performed. OK. And there we go. Job done, folks.